Taunton Town, the Peacocks, a club that need to survive. But will they do it? We will find out. Welcome to Taunton Live or Die. Taunton Town, founded in 1947, for the very pleasant history of late. After beating Yeovil 1-0, the club progressed to the first round of the FA Cup proper, drawing away at League Two side MK Dons. Right, so here we are in the Taunton Town FC home dressing room. Now walking in, the first thing I've noticed is that quote, you are nothing without each other. Team spirit is so important in a game like football. Now just imagine, before a big game, before these games that decide Taunton's season, the players will be sat here hoping that they will start waiting for the manager's instructions and praying that they come back in here celebrating. Sterney, Sterney, yeah, you there. Doing a great job, mate. Well done, well done. Keep going. Push up there a bit. Oh, sorry, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a manager. Um, but yeah. So this is the dugout. This is where arguably one of the most important elements of the game is. This is where the manager is giving out his instructions. The subs are down this touchline, warming up and down, ready to come on to make a difference. It's going to be crucial that the team, the bench players, the manager, they're all together, um, just to try and secure their main aim. Um, so yeah, so this is the dugout. We're now going to take you to the pitch. So here I am at the halfway line at Wordsworth Drive. Now if we have a little look around, you'll see it may look empty now. But come the match day, come the games, when the players are on this pitch, the players will fill their roars. Now, Taunton haven't had the best of luck recently with games being put off because of the rain. Rainfall has meant that this pitch hasn't been able to withhold itself, causing games to have to be postponed and moved back to near the end of the season, which has caused an influx of games in a short period of time. Now, the hope is for Taunton that they can get onto this pitch, score some goals, defend well and stay up. But the real question is, can they? Hi, yeah, my name's Carl Lindsay. Um... My official title is a football operations manager at Taunton Football Club. Um, since the um, chairman has been off um, ill, then I've had to take over looking after the day-to-day -day running of the club, um, which, as it says, is the day-to-day -day running of the club. Um, obviously, in my operations role, it's all the secretarial work, um, and I also double up at the club as a kit man as well, so it's quite full on all the time. Slough, without doubt, on their day, one of the top teams in the league. When we played them at their place, it's fair to say they beat us in every department in terms of man-to-man, -man. one hell of a side. So, you know, look, they've got to come here onto our pitch. It's not had the best of last few weeks with the weather. They won't fancy that coming from an Astro. So, you know, we've got to be looking at a draw. Um, draw would be a great result for us. Um, against one, what I would consider one of the better passing sides in the in the league. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed, we'll get a draw out of it. We need a probably a win and a draw out of the four games that are left, and then a little bit of luck with the results around us. And uh, fingers crossed, that should be enough. <laughs> Blocks and had to go high from the Jakes. I gotta make right decisions, everyone gon' make mistakes. How you gon' take from your brother and turn a smile in his face?
right, it's half time at Wordsworth Drive. 1 0. Nathan Minhas penalty in the 21st minute after Dan Lavakum got sent off for a reckless challenge in the box. I Meaning we've got Marcus Day in goal, who's a forward for Taunton. Um, you'd think after that, really, that there'd be more goals from Slough, but there hasn't been many. Uh, but still 1 0, as I said. And I just think Taunton are doing quite well, seeing the circumstances. Let's just see what the second half brings. Come on. Unfortunately, it's full time and it has finished 4 0 to Slough. Now, it was a resilient Taunton side. They battled to the end. You can't, you can't really fault them in any way. Um, obviously, it was a big, big issue with that keeper getting sent off in the 18th minute. But, you know, Marcus Day, man of the match. I mean, well deserved man of the match, really, if you think about it. I bet he didn't expect um, to be on the team. Robin, unfortunate. It's 4 0 loss today. How would you sum up the performance? I don't think it was a massive with the performance. I just don't think it was a game after the referees sent our goalkeeper off. So. Uh, the performance and the effort levels, no problem with that whatsoever. But uh, the referee's decision to send our keeper off after 20 minutes, massive problem with that. So, uh, yeah, very difficult day. Yeah, difficult day, as you said. But, I mean, Marcus Day, fair play to him for stepping up. Yep, somebody's got to do it. Um, we we don't have um, the budget for having too many uh, keepers. And after all the games we've had for the last uh, month, it's important that we have fresh legs for outfield players, so that's why we don't have a keeper on the bench a lot of the time. And to be fair, this is the first time I've ever had it since I've been here, so Mark's not very well. Speaking to Rob Dre there gave me a fantastic insight into the squad's morale and as well what Rob Dre is thinking going on to these final games. However, one thing that can't be ignored is that is points dropped. That was a game in hand that could have been the difference we don't know yet so the players will still believe the fans will still believe but can they survive they need a win Taunton versus Torquay 21st versus 20th 47 points to 45 now Taunton have a game in hand but with only three games left of the season this is a decisive game in the race for relegation that neither team want to win. separated the side and was during the game two goals have separated the side with Torquay beating Taunton 2-0. Now as it stands Taunton are five points um, off staying up with a game they do have a game in hand but it's looking very unlikely as the season's now drawn to a close with two games left. Um, however anything could change in the second half let's hope for a 3-2 win or maybe even more goals but we'll never know let's go and see.
final score today between Taunton Town and Torquay. It was Torquay United 2, Taunton Town 1. Now going into the second half, Taunton did have a boost with Ollie Chamberlain scoring in the 47th minute. Now this gave Taunton hope um, and they did fight very well but unfortunately it just wasn't enough and Taunton Town have lost the game. Now mathematically, Taunton have to beat Western um, to be in a chance of staying up with two games left and all the other clubs having one around them with a four-point difference. So fingers crossed, on to Western, Taunton Town need a win. If I said the two words Taunton Town, what do they mean to you? As you can probably tell, I'm not from round here. Um, I was brought up in Liverpool, which is my heart, um, the club. Um, I've been away from Taunton since I moved to Taunton, I adopted this club as my team to watch. Um, I've been away from the club to two other clubs and I've come back to this club because Taunton pretty much means everything to me. Um, the community, the club being part of it, it's just all the way through. Probably if you cut my arm off, it would say Taunton Town. Hello, my name is Max Fournier. I am head of social media at Taunton Town Football Club. I spent the last like 20 years of my life kind of not liking Taunton Town. So I, I, I was a Tiverton fan for the first 19 and a half years of my life. Uh, that's what I was brought up on. Tiverton and Taunton obviously don't get on at all. Um, for reasons out of my control, I was not welcomed back at Tiverton um, at the start of this season. Uh, and I, I had to find another club. You know, I, I wanted to carry on doing what I was doing. I was I was very good at it. I had I'd won awards of season beforehand with some of the stuff I produced. So I, I wanted to carry on. Uh, I had 26 clubs on the table, uh, a couple full-time, a couple lower down, a couple offering this and that and the other. Um, but Taunton was one of the ones that really stuck out to me. I came down here for um, for a couple, couple games just to meet some people, and I, I fell in love. Those first two games, suddenly a, a lifetime of, you know, I don't like Taunton, I love Tivy, has absolutely turned to the exact opposite. I'm, I'm, I'm in love with this club, I'm in love with what it, it does, what it does to you and what it does to, to other people. Um, and really the, the fans here as well, the fans here are incredible. <laughs> As you can see, it's full time here at Wordsworth Drive. Taunton Town nil, Western Supermare AFC one, um, in a result that does officially relegate Taunton Town. Now all the hopes were Taunton would would show up, which I think they did, but they just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. 
Um, and, you know, unfortunately, this is the result. Now, a lot of fans um, after the game were cheering for Rob Dyer out. Um, however, I've been a personal fan of Taunton Town for three years. Um, I've seen us get promoted. Um, we've had a good, we had a good season last season. Obviously, financial difficulties this season. It's a miracle to even be in this league in the first place, in my opinion. Um, but I just, you know, you have to admit that it's a sad day for the club. But I don't think personally Rob Dre should leave. Um, fingers crossed for next season. Looking on, um, hopefully a successful campaign and going straight back up. But who knows in football? So, Carl, unfortunately, we've been relegated. How would you sum it up? Devastating. Um, major setback from where we thought we were going to be a few weeks ago after great results against Worthing and, and Torquay. Um, but, you know, that's football sometimes. The rub of the green's not quite our way. Um, one, two, one game too many in a short space of time. Um, absolutely no fault to the players' fault. They have give their 100% in everything they've done. Um, but when we've been faced with the amount of games that we've had so so back-to-back -back as such, it's a big ask of players, especially when they work during the day as well, and then to come out and play every you know every other night um, and a weekend. Um, you can't fault them. You can't fault the players for the effort that they've put in. So um, we should be proud of that. But obviously we are devastated that we've now lost our National League status. Um, it's time now for everyone to regroup, thinking about it in, in, in terms of supporters, getting behind the club going forward. You know, they followed well this year, um, probably let the, the situation on the pitch get to them in the stands. Um, but, you know, we, you need that unity. You need that coming together that they can be that 12th man, the support, whether it's good or bad in, on the pitch, they should be 100% behind us, cheering us, chanting us, you know, really getting behind the boys to try and get that extra, that 12th man, that extra person on the pitch. If we can do that going forward, then there's no reason why we can't take the club on again. But, yeah, at the moment, it's quite, um, quite devastating. It's been a difficult one. It's been challenging on and off the pitch. Um, there's been a lot of very public financial issues with the football club. And there were um, a lot of issues getting getting just even over the line um, into this summer. Um, it's all where victories turned from, you know, trying to get three points on Saturday to can we turn the lights on um, on the Tuesday night? And, you know, we've gotten through it. Uh, clawing two for now. Unfortunately, yeah, relegations hit us, but a side that goes through transfer embargoes, through winding up petitions, is always going to struggle. Uh, to stay up. I mean, if we had stayed up, I think that would have been a bigger miracle than feeding the 5,000. So the fact that we've you've got a football club still is priority one, always was, always has been. Right, so it's now come out that Rob Dre has departed with the club. Um, how would you sum up how, what he's done for the club? I think if you... Phenomenal, actually, when you go back to um, how he was appointed... It was a very last-minute thing in terms of the previous manager got an offer and went, and Rob was appointed out of um, probably unexpected at the time. Um, he took on a group of players. He's rebuilt that side probably twice over now. Probably he got them promoted. Obviously, we've we've, lo we've lost Rob Drake. A decision was made to not extend his contract, and it's a shame. I, I love working with him. I think he's a he's a really sound bloke. Um, obviously, he's been with the club since 2018, so six years now. Um, he's, he's almost part of the furniture. So to lose him is, is going to be pretty big. As part of the club, what's your expectations for next season? We're always going to say we want to challenge, don't we? But, you know, let's not beat around the bush. The league we're going into, if you, if you understand football, is not easy. Um, Taunton were in there for probably two seasons and were lucky to get out of it in terms of the, the they made their own luck to get out of it. Did it come too soon? Maybe, maybe not. Um, it's a tough old league. It's as tough as a national league in a way because people are spending huge, vast amounts of money to get out of it. So, you know, we just got to get our expectations right that if we, we've got to survive to begin with. Um, 
but our budget would be competitive. So, you know, it, once the, the, the new manager is appointed by the board, then obviously, fingers crossed, we'll have a bit of luck. We won't have the issues with the pitch that rob at the face, um, which then gives all the back-to-back -back games and, and the players. Um, fingers crossed it'll all go well this year. Next season, I should say, which is this year. Then finally, if you had one message to the supporters coming back next season, what would that be? We need you. Um, we need you more than ever. The players need you. The club needs you. Come and support us in every way you can, whether that's at the games, whether that's the functions that we have. Um, there's lots planned, so please, please, please support us going forward in terms of what we're trying to achieve um, and get behind the club. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. This has been Taunton Live or Die. <laughs>